so it was the early 90s when hair bands were dropping like flies i mean stadium acts were being downsized and some of them had no clue that in the coming years they would fade into non relevance if not into oblivion there was a kind of mayhem in the glam hard rock world that led some of the guys to chop their hair or you know change their gear and add the grunge sound to their sound which made them sound even more obscure some were scrambling to sound relevant crew were having their own set of problems now the band fired Vince Neil after releasing their most successful album of the career Dr Feelgood they then hired John Corabi who sounded nothing like Vince neither stylistically nor sonically to front their next LP which was ironically titled Motley Crue with a complete change of musical direction The result was Crew's most consistent record ever. This inclusion of Corabi just simply meant that Mick Mars could now flex his muscles a bit more as Corabi layered this new revolutionary sound with his own guitar licks besides writing the lyrics on most of the songs alongside Six. This was the new and inspired Motley Crue without Vince Neil with an album that smoked from start to finish. The record turned out to be something like they had never ever done. I mean, it was heavy, it was aggressive, it was grunge tinged, deep and dark, and you could you could almost hear each of the band members exploding on the mix, with the possible exception of Nikki Six, of course. Bob Rock's production expertise provided the match to this dynamite. From the moment the first track, "Power to the Music," comes alive and the drums pound in and the killer riff. tears into existence you know that this is something extraordinary we are about to hear and when it keeps happening with every track you at the end are left in a state of disbelief now this album sounds swell even in the here and now so you can just about imagine just how much ahead of its time it was back in 1994 The songs like Uncle Jack and Hooligans Holiday and the heart-wrenching power ballad Misunderstood got some steady airplay. I still remember back in the day we had just heard of this guy Kurabi now, you know, trying to replace the the Vince Neil and when we, you know, saw the first video, I think it was Hooligans Holiday. Now we didn't know how to react and this was phenomenal and yet polarizing, not a masterpiece, yet groundbreaking and sensational. Now one world, one big world, still solely missed Vince Neil, but deep within, countless hearts embraced the album for what it was, but without admission. Mirror, Songwriting was a complete departure, you know, with real subjects like child abuse, rock and roll decadence, anarchy, marijuana, grief and despair coming to the fore, and sleaze. taking a back seat for the very first time in Crew's Carnal Laced career. The music was all muscle and there was nothing there to really please them Crew fans, the Vince Crew fans. The absence of Neil just, you know, further deepened the void. A mighty triumph for the Crew though, who threw caution to the wind and ended up making the finest record of their career. Now this album has the heaviest song that Crew has ever done in Smoke the Sky which is like a bone crunching metal feast that shines due to its sheer sonic audacity. The songs like Till Death Do Us Part, Hammer, and Welcome to the Numb they never fail to impress you one after the other. And you know They come with this welcome overdose of mammoth riffing, which kind of complement John Corabi's gruffy, distinctive vocal style rather well. And I'll take a bow, John Corabi. They should have never let you go. For Crew's music could never, ever match up to anything close to what they have done on this LP.
The softer songs like, you know, Drift Away and Love Shine are no less delightful and bring the much needed contrast to this album. And these are the real power ballads, if you know what I mean. I mean, they have the power of Korabi's massive vocals and the strength of a band that was able to outclass itself for once. Just once. I would rate this album an easy 4.5 out of 5. This is Sunny Sidhua signing off from Sunny Sides. Have a sunny day and a sunny life.